Hi, so today I want to show you a way of how to use the partition tool and how to use the bounding box tool and points. So what we're going to do is that we're going to have, um, oh, we're going to zoom out here a little bit. Um, we're going to have um, X, Y, and Z axis, um, or the, however you want to see it. Um, and we have a number of random points everywhere in this amount, in this little uh, thingy. And um, we are having those points and we want to group those points basically together like those and those and those and those in a more or less regular fashion or to create some kind of like flow of boxes around and we're gonna yeah we're gonna put like some boxes who are around those things so we have like even let's almost say like cake slices okay here well, they will look more even. No, we have it later. So what we're going to do is, well, you have our rhino and grass up around here. We are having a, um, we're just using a random rectangle and um, using a number slider. And um, whoopsie. And we will have a rectangle, which you don't really see so well, but well, here it is. And um, we are going to extrude this rectangle, or oh, well, maybe even better, we make a um, box out of it for box rectangle. But this will basically make a box out of a um, rectangle, so it will extrude in the in the z direction of the plane of the rectangle. And we also take number in here as well, so we have the z axis as well. Um, this box we will have we will populate it with some random points, which obviously can be um, changed or anything later as you want. And we're gonna also maybe change the amount of points that we wanna have in here. Oops, now that was the wrong one. This one. So now we have control about the point number. And there is a very nice command in Rhino. It's called. Um, sort x y z or sort points which basically sorts the points from the x uh, y and z directions so they will be nice and like close together not as totally random um, you will see how this will help us later so um, those points are basically now more or less like equally distributed or near to each other and we will use the um, partition list command, which basically puts each of those different points into separate lists. So we can make a panel, for example, which has some um, different values of like, maybe let's just put one, uh, five, se six, seven, maybe two, two, three, uh, six, I mean, uh, counting is so difficult, guys. And uh, we have those um, different numbers here. And we have to um, put this basically in list sizes. You will see it will put in red. So we just have to um, multiline the data and offer it to work and put the points in there. Um, as you see, the list, if we look at, um, if we make another panel, the lists will be um, like here, one, uh, like size one, size six, size of seven, then of two, then of two, then of six, and so on. And they will repeat again at the beginning until it eventually runs out of my numbers. So um, we have basically the numbers now together, or like points, and we will just make a bounding box around it. So it will basically take each of the group of the points that we just saw before, and it will just collect them together. And we make it so it is not per object, but it's a union box. So now we're going to disable the um, other ones and you see we have like a nice few uh, like slices of uh, rectangles that we have around here some a little bit smaller some a little bigger and in order for it to um, um, look a little bit different obviously we can maybe we can change this parameter here a little bit we can change the sizes of the whole thing a little bit larger and wider and maybe a little bit higher as well and then obviously change as well the amount. Let me take a slide, bigger slide here. 
so we have a little more distributed thing so yeah so i mean obviously it could be a very nice shape and if you put some colors into there it might be a nice thing but the most important thing to take away from this is this um, list sort list system because this is very powerful if you want to um, create certain um, things or certain sizes of lists and it can also be generative that you can take a series of lists for example if you use series and um, the, so the size will be always bigger you will see we have um, if we make the count a step a little higher we always have a increasing number of um, things so there is certain regularity in here as you see there's like a very small very short amount of slices and the sizes will get bigger over time so there is also some uh, regularity coming in there so into play and yeah i hope this helped you um yeah see you next one goodbye